What's up guys and welcome to 60 Seconds Reatomized. Now this is a game that I've always wanted to check out for a very long time. I've seen a bunch of other YouTubers play this game, but I've never actually played it myself. And I really don't know a single thing about it besides that. So I figured, you know what, let's do a video on it. And if you guys do want to see more of this and you want to see a series on it, let me know. Show this video a ton of support. And in the comment section down below, drop a pizza emoji. Because look at this, I see a pizza on the roof right here. So I feel like it's only right. And uh, yeah, if we get a ton of support on this video, I'll definitely do a full series on this. But for right now, let's go ahead and hop in. But look, I don't know what, look, everything I like hover over something happens oh what is this hold on you can interact with all of this stuff what is this okay i don't know what let, let's just press new game it looks like there's a lot of content here and uh select the type of atomic adventure um i don't know the tutorial 100 approved by the establishment okay uh perfect perfect your post-apocalyptic skills and unlock fancy rewards in these special challenging adventures most achievements disabled and then Apocalypse, the full atomic experience. Scavenge around your house for supplies and then survive the post-apocalypse in your fallout shelter. All right, let's just try the atomic drill. Let's start off simple. Learn all about the how to scavenge. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just the, uh, basically the tutorial. So I feel like this is the right place to start. Soup can be stored for up to 700 and, wait, what? 737 years? Oh, we're in. Welcome to your atomic scavenge scavenge drill. Pay attention. Okay. Hold the grab con hold the grab control to skip my words, but every time you do, the reds will drop an extra nuke. Oh no. Wait, I don't want any nukes to be dropped. No time to waste. Get moving and head to the marked point in front of you. Move it. Alright, I'm here. Why is she playing is that a tuba, a trombone? What is that? Good job. There might be there might be hope for you just yet. Just keep those legs moving. Sounds good. Where to next? Move to the next yellow X. One more time. You know the drill. Marker, living room, go, go, go. Okay, um, living room is right here. Why is that lady playing that instrument for about to get nuked? What is happening? Not bad, but you'd better be in good shape. There is more where that came from. Okay. Where do I gotta go next? Find Timmy. Fun time's over. It's a matter of life and death now. Find your son Timmy ASAP. Okay, uh, Timmy? Timmy, uh, that looks like my wife. That it looks like my daughter. Where is Timmy at? Timmy, where'd you get? Oh my god, what was that? What did I just get hit by? This looks like his room. Yeah, Timmy, I found you. Good thing you know the layout of your house. I bet you the reds know it too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man. All right, well, I found him. Grab him. Family comes first. Grab Timmy. He, he will be the first to visit your cozy shelter. All right, Timmy, come here. We're bringing you straight to the shelter. That's it. Consider taking other family members too. I'll leave the exact priorities to you. All right, fine. I'll bring you. I get. I can't even grab her. All right. Well, you're not coming. Timmy is safe, but you need to find food to keep the shelter stocked. Okay, find the highlighted soup can. I think it was over here, right? There's something right here. What is this? Oh, I guess that's not the right one. I gotta find the soup can. All oh, right here. Can somebody tell this lady to stop playing the trombone? Soup, an excellent choice. This can sustain a family of four for a day. Ooh, wow. One can of soup for a whole day. Goodness. Every American atomic shelter also needs a supply of water. Hunt for some bottles. All right. Um, where the heck could bottle? Oh, I see one right here, I think, right? On the shelf? Guess not. All right. Well, it should be in here. You would think in the kitchen, but it's not. Find the highlighted water bottle and grab it. All right. Um, I don't see a highlighted water bottle. Before it was showing up through like the wall, but this time it's not. Look, that looks like a bottle of water. You'll need it. Trust me. Yeah. This isn't a bottle of water, apparently. No. Huh. Okay. I mean, it certainly looks like one to me. Get out of the way with your instrument, lady. Stop playing that thing. Oh, it's over here. I see it. Yeah, I've seen it for like a second in here. Okay. Give me this. All right. That's enough water for now, but you've got yourself a problem, buster. What? What's the problem, my friend? The bunker's right here. We need to get in there. You can only carry so much, and every item weighs at least one slot. You need to drop whatever you're carrying at the hatch before you can pick up more. Okay. So how do I drop items then? Because we definitely need to do that. Uh, is it going to tell me? Drop whatever you're carrying down into the shelter. When near the hatch, drop all items you have. There's a good chance they will survive the fall. Okay, so you just left click and... Oh my gosh. Even my son? <laughs> Bingo! You got yourself a small stockpile of food, water, and even little Timmy. I don't know if Timmy's still alive down there, dude. Let's be honest. Alright, find a radio and grab it. No one knows how long you'll be staying down there, so you'll need a radio. Okay, got one right here. Give me that. Let's go ahead and drop it in. That's it. Nothing more useful than news from the radioactive outside world. That's done. All right, we're leaving her out here, by the way. I don't, if I have to sit in that bunker and hear this all the time, oh my gosh. Sometimes you get a few extra seconds before the siren sounds to scout your surroundings. But after it goes off, you need to start packing. Collect five items and drop them off to the shelter in time. Okay, um, our incredibly advanced warning system gives you 60 seconds to scavenge what you need and get yourself to safety. Let's give it a try. Okay, sounds easy enough. This game is definitely, uh, it's got a lot to it so far. 
Collect at least five more items and family members in the next 60 seconds. And make sure you find yourself close to the shelter when time is up. All right, so we're going to start with the family members because I feel like that only makes sense. Throw them in there and then start finding items. All right, here we go. Family member number one. Family member number... No room? Oh, I can only have... Oh, she takes up three slots. Oh, okay. Down you go. Go ahead and grab you now. Come on. Oh, you're only a two-slot item. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I'm slamming into things. All right, down you go. All right, Um, right. I'm thinking we need this. Right? We definitely need that. We're going to throw that in there. Down, down it goes, down it goes. Okay, um, water, water. I see water right there, but we also need... Oh my god, wait, soup, 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 soup. Give me this, give me this. Give me that water up there. Okay, I hope this has water in it, because if not, uh, that's not good. Okay, collect five items. Okay, yeah, we already got five, but I'm doing more than five. I'm doing as many as I can get. Okay, dude, all this soup, all this soup. We probably need more water, too. Oh, you can run. Oh my god. Okay, I don't see any more water, though. I really wanted... Oh, wait, I see water. I think we have to get back before... Oh, what's this? Card game? Okay, that's locked. I, I got a lock, though. I, I, I'm grabbing whatever that is. Okay, go, 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 go. I'm here. All right, so now I just wait here until the timer's up, right? I don't know what I grabbed. Probably not the items that we need, but uh, hopefully it'll work. All right, we're here. Go ahead and bring me in. Now you know how to get what you, what you want or what you need to survive, but your training is far from over. All right, into the bunker we go, though, right? I'll see you downstairs for survival training at ease. Let's do this. Down into the bunker we go. Oh my goodness. This is where it's going to be fun. Down in this giant bunker. Well, actually, it's not going to be giant. Radio. Keep up with the world. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we did that. We got the radio. All right. So what do we got to do now? Day one. Oh, boy. So I got... Oh, it shows everything I grabbed. Oh, boy. All right, let's see. Day one. You made it to the shelter. Congratulations. But the drill's not over yet. You'll, you'll end up here with whatever and whoever you brought with you. Nothing else. You need to make the most of it. The next few days will teach you how to survive down here while the world outside burns. Explore and interact with your surroundings. You can always find out, you can always find out useful things about your shelter and its, its inhabitants when your survival journal, journal is not opened yet or hidden. First things first, we, need, we must ration food and water. If you don't, wine and dine yourself and the folks. Okay. You've brought with you. You can bet your bottom dollar none of you will ever see the light of day again. As long as you have food and water available, ration it out to, to a given person by selecting the picture or, of a can or bottle under their portrait. Or instantly ration out both by clicking on the character's image. Of course, you might save your supplies for later, but a normal person can only survive four days without water. As to food, the longer you deny your people rations, the weaker they, they will get and might eventually get sick. Even if you manage to cure them, it'll take you quite a few cans and a lot of time to replenish their strength. All right, time to ration the supplies. Okay, what's left? All right, so how did I... Okay, there we go. You each have that. Good. And I have two more balls of water. That's not too bad. You know, that's pretty good. Since this is your first day down here, you'll need to get used to your surroundings. Believe me, ventilation hum can drive anyone nuts if you don't occupy yourself with something to do. Get some decent rest and we'll carry on tomorrow night. Or tomorrow, nighty night. Okay, so we're just here with the family, going in and trading today too, though. This is cool, man. So we're just surviving in a nuclear bunker with everyone. All right, so what do we got for our journal here? Day two. Good morning, survivalist. Hope you slept well. Bed's comfy? No? Well, better get used to it, since you'll be staying down here for a while. We'll start today's activities with rationing, since you need to do it every day. But after that, we will move on to something else. Got your attention? Good. Now listen. There's a risk you will run out of supplies eventually. Everything can be useful, but food and water are critical to your survival. If they're gone, you will be gone sooner than you can say corn dog. So... Sometimes you will need to spe or send people to the surface oh, to bring in more supplies. You do this by preparing an expedition a day before it actually departs. Be careful, though. Tired survivors can never be a part of an expedition. Today, you will skip preparations and jump directly into sending someone brave outside. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble, nothing new. Mary Jane says she's fine and doesn't need anything. Today was relatively calm for all arrests. I don't know how you say that. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy is being very brave. Time to ration supplies. Okay, so there's that. There's that. Oh, boy. We only have one day left of water. I should have grabbed more. Day two. Sending people out into the wasteland is no walk in the park. Do it too early or without a gas mask, and then you can you can bet it's a death mission for them. Send healthy and well-fed people. Sick, hurt, or crazed people are more likely to perish out there. You can send one person at a time. Let's give it a try. This time, you will need to send someone out, but if you ever want to skip a trip to the surface, don't select anyone. Who should go outside? All right, um, I'm thinking Mary Jane, I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for her to not come back. But then again, she doesn't have her trombone, so she could stay. Never mind. I'm, I'm sending her out, though. Wait, what if I just send all of them? Oh, okay, you can only choose one. 
All right, well, Mary Jane, you gotta go, girl. Wait, bring the gun or something. Okay, no, she's just going out there. Nothing to protect herself. Hmm. You would have thought someone would have went with her or some sort of weapon. Day three, this is a drill, so your explorer will come back after a little while. But in the event of a real apocalypse, they might be gone for a couple days. In the meantime, you'll be faced with other problems that will test you to the limits. I'm talking about making decisions that can break even the best of a, men, of a men's moral spine. We'll see what clay you're made of. What? We'll see what clay you're made of. But first, ration your food and water. We don't want anyone starving now, do we? Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. So she should be back on day four, right? Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. Timmy seems okay as much as he can be in our current situation. Okay, so we have that and that's done. Then we're out. Okay, and an army man. Oh, I'm an army man. So I don't know a second thing about imagination, but you could probably use your yours now. Picture the scenario. You come across your kid's hamster who in some bizarre way found its way to the shelter. The kids are obviously going to love it and so will you. There's nothing better than food that comes to you on its own. Now it's up to you. Do you cook him? Uh, no. I mean, we don't got to feed him, right? Like, it's one of those things where it's you can't really feed them. You just kind of leave them, you know? All right, so we're going to say no. I can't eat the hamster, dude. You can't do that. I had hamsters growing up. They were a lot of fun. Like, you, could, it's fun. It's more fun to, like, watch them have fun. Because, you know, when they have, like, that big pipe and all that stuff, like, a big play area. If you guys have a hamster. You know what I'm talking about. All right, day four. Good choice. The little furry guy can stay and fatten up. It'll make a bigger meal in a few days. Oh, my gosh. And maybe your only source of food if you run out of cans. This morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. Everything seems okay with Dollar S. Dollar S? How do you say your name? Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. Young boy. He's doing just fine. All right, so we have no more water. Uh, wait, she should have been back today, I thought. You might be faced with decisions that require you to use your equipment. However, sometimes you might... Uh, find you don't have that the one item that was supposed to save the day So make sure you scavenge the right supplies. Oh, we didn't bring ammo did we before the blast keep in mind Every item can be used for something. What do you want to do today? Clean a rifle listen to the radio or maybe play shadow bunnies using your flashlight Okay, I don't know why I thought it said shadow Bonnie. <laughs> I was like wait what he's in this game <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, she's back with her hand messed up. Uh oh, what happened to her? So you couldn't use any of these items. Too bad. Better luck next time. Oh, wait. I didn't even... Oh, I didn't even try. Good news, everyone. The expedition is back. Oh, my God. There's there's flies in the game. There's also a little gnat in here. Good news, everyone. Okay, the expedition is back. Oh, my God. It's right there. I got it. I actually got it. <laughs> Thank goodness. Those things are so annoying. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, he's back with extra supplies. Sometimes they won't. Other times they'll come back with nast a nasty injury or even radiation sickness. Believe me, you don't want to get those. I hear glowing in the dark isn't as fun as it sounds. This time your explorer was hurt, but they will recover after the proper use of a first aid kit. You can use one during rationing. Uh oh, do we have one? Mary Jane was injured. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Ted is fine. Today's been fine for Dollaris thus far. Timmy is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Okay, so med kit we have to use on her. Um, food. Did I activate the med kit? Yeah, I think I did. But she didn't even bring water. So, like, what? I thought we sent her out so she can get water. You need at least one alive adult to keep going. If you send your other, your only survivor to the surface, you won't know what's happening in your bunker until they come back. And when they do, your shelter might already belong to someone else. A decent padlock may protect it, but not for long. This is a busy day. Take your time and get some sleep. If you made it this far, you're doing great and have a chance of, at getting out of this foxhole. Hopefully soon, but don't quote me on that. Yeah, we did bring a lock, so that's good to know. Day six. Here we go. But if you can go to the surface, I mean, you might as well go up there and just get more food and then come back. What's on her hair, by the way? All right, so let's see. What's day six? We've only just sent someone outside, but let's give it another go today, shall we? The first time you were only asked to pick one unlucky... Bah, I don't know. One brave volunteer to save the day. This time, you will also get a chance to equip your explorer with, with some useful gear. Find your troops, or feed your troops, and I'll see you at the shelter entrance. Mary Jane's quite hungry. Mary Jane's wounds are all fixed. If Ted doesn't drink anything, he won't last long. Water is all Dolores wants. Okay, we have no water. How about Timmy? How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. Okay. Um. Yeah. See, we don't have water. So, <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Anything can be useful outside, and some items even improve scavengers' chances of survival. Notice you have a suitcase. That's handy. With a suitcase, your explorer can carry more. Go ahead, pick something. All right. Want what to take outside? Um. I guess I can't. All right. So let's see here. You. Um, what? We're giving her... No, you don't... Oh, there you go. Um, let's give her that. Oh, okay, we can only send one person. 
All right, whatever. We're sending the guy out. You're going out there. Good luck. Um, I guess we'll send him out with that and hope for the best. I don't know if it has ammo, but I'm assuming it does. <laughs> I mean, at least it'll scare somebody, you gotta think, you know? Okay, here we go. So he's out there now. Day seven. Morning, people. You're probably asking yourself one simple question. What's the point of sitting in this atomic shelter? Why don't I just leave? Well, leaving is a death sentence. If the radioactive sickness doesn't kill you, then the giant scorpions will. Oh, we can fall out New Vegas or something? Like, what's going on out there? You can trust me on that. Your one chance is our boys surviving or arriving to rescue you. So every good citizen needs to do one thing. Seek contact with the U.S. military and await a rescue. Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be, he'll be back soon. Equipment? That. Nice. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. Dolores will not survive without water any... Uh-oh. Without water any longer. Timmy is in terrible shape. We need to get him water now. I don't I don't have water. I don't know what it wants me to do. Um, Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I guess uh, that's it. I, don't, I guess they're dead. No, no, no. The rescue ain't coming today, but we'll come get you eventually. You need to keep your radio operational and be ready to venture into the waste. However, you also need to be careful. It might not be our, only our soldiers out there. There could be bandits or worse, commies. Just imagine what will happen if the Reds discover you. So, let's agree to the rules for this drill. You only open this door if someone knocks two times. Am I clear? Two knocks. Got it. Two knocks. Okay. Day eight. He's back. They're, they're, they're not going to make it, though, because we don't have water. I don't I thought we were sending him out to get water, but I guess not. Okay, day. You'll need to remember that some days will be very intense. A lot of things will happen that you'll need to be prepared for. That's why any day that gives you a break is a blessing, and you'll need to make sure you make the most of it. Eat, drink, and relax while thinking about all those commie guys uh, who don't have comfy bunkers like you. That thought always gets me through the day. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. We found the 10 cent hotel in ruins, but there was plenty to look through. Pieces of furniture, suitcases, and other hotel supplies were scattered all over the place. Oh, I see we got water. Now we know the secret of their restaurant chef. It's tomato soup. No wonder they were a five-star hotel. Every room was stocked with water bottles for guests. A few of them remained relatively untouched by the explosion. In what was left of one of the rooms, two figures were playing chess. What the heck? One was a skeleton and the other was a man in some kind of metal armor. They gave us their chessboard, claiming they have a spare one. Only when we walked away did we discover they gave us checkers instead of chess. What a sick joke. Oh my gosh. One of the luggage bags was filled with a wide array of different flashlight models. Excited, we tried them all, but only one was in a working condition. The lobby was mostly destroyed and barely anything could be found on the floor. Except for one very hairy and very dead lumberjack. He had an axe in his hand. So much for our rifle. It got damaged during our expedition. What? Mary Jane is quite hungry. Everyone has to drink something, or sometimes, uh, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Timmy is in terrible shape. Uh-oh. We need to give him water now. Ted is hungry. I want cake. Okay. So we have water. The only thing is we don't have much food left. So tomorrow someone's not going to have food and they're not going to all have water. Day 8. As long as you keep your shelter stocked and remain cautious, you should be okay. However, every choice you make can come back to bite you on the butt. Even after a few days or weeks, consider your options carefully. This is a drill, but if the nukes start dropping, it'll be a totally different story. Alright, so we lost our only weapon. Day 9. Oh boy, man. This is not good. Okay. So, we, gotta, we have to send somebody out again. Day 9. If I were you, I'd check the door. Our extraction team might be coming for you any day now, but be careful. This is a post-apocalyptic uh, scenario, and you never know what's coming. Ted is hungry. Mary Jane is no longer hungry, no longer thirsty. Ted needs food. No longer thirsty, no longer thirsty. Okay, so it's saying... How do I check the door, though? I don't know how you'd even get this thing off of your screen. Uh, whatever. Let's continue. Okay, so ration supplies. Yeah, um, buddy. That's everyone who's eating. I mean, you didn't even say you were hungry, so... Sometimes, uh, someone's at the door. You can hear several knocks. If you listen closely, you can make out a sequence of three knocks. You open the door. No, because he said two. So we're gonna, I mean, we could just open the door just for fun, right? But no, let's, let's not do it. Don't do it. We, it said two knocks. So that's three. We're not doing it. I remember. I remember the knocks. All right. Can't have me forgetting the knocks. Not like that. All right. So what's next? What is this? Day 10. Ooh, we got an angry face. Good call. That wasn't the knock you were waiting for. Caution at all times. Remember that. Be cautious, apply yourself, and maybe you and your family will be just fine. Or at least most of you. There isn't enough food to go around. Even Ted has nothing to eat. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. If there was anything to report about Dolores, then this is where it would have been written. Okay, so there's nothing to report. Timmy might not look at it, but he's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. All right, time to ration supplies. We have no supplies, so uh, sorry about that. <laughs> 
As you were counting imaginary sheep in your head, another series of knocks broke your concentration. Someone is really hammering on your door and probably not taking no for an answer. Two knocks. Two knocks. The pattern keeps repeating. You open the door. It's two knocks, but it's four knocks, right? Because it's two and two. Ah, let's just open it. Why not? Let's see what happens. I feel like it's not going to be the military. Oh, I got an achievement. The end. Atomic drill. Okay. So we survived, I'm assuming, right? That's just the drill, though. So that was the tutorial. Got it. All right. So what now? The end. Good job. You're safe and sound with our brave soldiers. And now we can have some apple pie. You deserve it. We survived for 11 days. Day one, atomic drill begins. Day eight, hotel raiders. Day 10, successfully passed the drill. I wish you could send them out more. Maybe it was only because it was the drill that I couldn't send them out like every day. I survived. Yay. Okay. Share your adventure and your adventure. So that's done. All right. So this is cool. It's like you can play it over and over again. But you, you can, it's different every time you play it, which is very cool. All right, so what's memories? I don't know. Let's just go into a new game again. All right, so we have challenge, perfect your post, uh, yeah, unlock fancy words and these special challenging adventures. No, I kind of want to do survival. Experience a one-of-a-kind post-apocalyptic adventure. Survive in your fallout shelter with randomly selected supplies. Scavenge and make sure the fallout shelter is stocked by the end of your run. No survival included. Or that one. Scavenge around your house for supplies and then survive. I'm thinking I kind of want, yeah, let's just do the normal apocalypse and what's this select character. Ooh, okay. I can play as each one. It's like difficulty. Let's do this one. Expiration time, scavenge time. Uh, maybe we should do little boy just to start unwanted visual. Uh, you know what? Let's just do the fat man. Why not? I feel like this will be a lot more fun, you know, a lot more risky and a lot more fun. So begin adventure. So we have a limited amount of time to loot, right? I think so. Like whenever we get tossed in here, but. This is gonna be fun. Okay, so here we go. What do I grab? What do I? Okay, we need the we need the kid, right? I can't even grab him. Oh, is this to scout for supplies? Okay, so if water. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, two slot. We're gonna quickly. Wait, where's the thing at? Oh my god, it's different. I didn't know that. Oh, it's over here. Okay, drop him in. Drop him in. That's the front door. I see a gas mask right there. I wonder if I can grab. No, we definitely can't grab both of you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, dude. I don't know how I'm gonna grab all of them and supplies. I should be grabbing supplies while I'm grabbing them. Oh my god, give me this. No. Give me that. No, no room. Okay, I forgot. Harmonica, we definitely didn't need that, but I grabbed it anyways. I know I, I need the gas mask. I know I do. All right, we need food. We need water. We need a lot of water, though. Give me that. Okay, we got a lot of food. Uh, last time we had too much food, not enough water. So I'm going to try to grab as much water as we can here. Okay, give me the axe. No room. Dang it. It's a two-slot item. Go back. All right, what else do we need? Um... Oh, the gun. We definitely need this. A flashlight, for sure. Grab that. Um, a suitcase. I don't I don't have room for that. Am I forgetting someone? I feel like I am. Whatever. Drop it in. That's it. We're out of time. Home sweet home. Girl power. I got two achievements. Nice. All right. Well, <clears throat> I definitely forgot some stuff, but we'll see. Oh, I didn't grab the radio. Oh, no. Well, I mean, hey, it's our first try outside of the tutorial. Family guy, I got the achievement. Yeah, I wonder if you just don't grab all the family members, what will happen? All right, so let's see here. Day one, all of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. We vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out being messy can really work in your favor. A med kit. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat. We'll eat from the cans. We'll eat, we'll sleep on the cans, okay? We'll even talk to the cans. Some of us already do. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We will have to ration it strictly. Yeah, that's for sure. All right, time to ration supplies. Oh, we have four and four, not bad. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. We always thought life could be much better. That was before we got nuked. Now we think, now we think life could be much better in a way, not that much has changed. All right, here we go. Yeah, dude, if you thought it was bad before, imagine getting nuked. <laughs> like that's as bad as it gets. All right, so what do we got here? <clears throat> Day two. Who knows? Maybe the new world will offer new opportunities and it won't be that bad. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores, Dolores, I don't know, is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. Ted is not complaining today, at least not very much. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. Timmy seems okay, as much as he can be in our current situation. All right, so here we go. I don't know if I have to feed, and feed them every day, right? I feel like I shouldn't be because... I should only be feeding them whenever they absolutely need food. All right, it looks like the area is still ir ir irradi ir I can't say that. Irradiated? Uh, going through the wasteland right now is unsafe, unless you don't mind getting sick. 
Teddy's happy to risk his life in the waste. Dollaris is in pretty good shape. Mary Jane is more than ready to go out and scavenge. Timmy is in good health and full of optimism. Should we start preparing for an expedition tomorrow? All right, yeah, let's do that. Let's try it. Mary Jane has been dropping hints that it's a special day for her today. We had to think about it uh, uh, about it hard. And after eliminating your average festivities, the anniversary of that great barbecue we had three years ago, and International Popcorn Day, we realized that she was talking about her birthday. That means we need to get her a gift. Okay. We can give her a med kit. <laughs> you want a med kit? Uh, there's a little med kit for you. I need that back, though, because we're going to need that to survive. So <laughs> you're going to have to give that back. Like, that's the most obvious, like, we didn't actually get you a gift kind of gift, you know? All right, day three. We figured a toothbrush is something a girl trapped in a bunker needs, desperately. Mary Jane's ecstatic reaction has proven us right. Next year, she's getting toothpaste. Dollarice is fine and well. As much as anyone can be... Uh, yeah, this is fine. Okay, this morning had been calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. Mary Jane, yeah, easy enough. Okay. <clears throat> Timmy is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Good. All right, so no one is, like, hungry yet. So let's skip that again. Some of us are keener to go outside than others. Either way, it's time to choose the most able and responsible person for the quest to gather more supplies. All right, um, what to take outside? We have nothing. Who to go outside? Let's send Ted. I feel like he's our best option. So go on out there, Ted. He's definitely gonna get radiation, but uh, we, we got the mask though. What'd I grab that mask for? I don't know. And we didn't even give him the gun. Oh, maybe I just select something first. I don't know. Day four, Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. There has to be some water left. Dollarice should get it. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking about it all day. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give everyone water and food. Actually, they're not asking for food, so let's only do water. There you go. Every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss. So when a single brick fell out from the wall, revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. We should probably check that hole out and see what source the source of that smell is. Yeah, let's do it, sure. Ah, isn't that kind of dangerous, though? Like, when the radiation get in? Day five. Got the achievement prepper. Okay. Let's see now what happens. Day five. We looked into the hole, fearing something might come at us with claws, fangs, or other mutated and sharp body parts, but nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. He failed miserably. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him, so we confiscated it. We gave the rat a proper burial in an empty can. He deserved that much. Dollarice is no longer thirsty. Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. No one's hungry either. Yeah, no one's thirsty or hungry. Good. All right, so no one's getting fed then. <laughs> Mary Jane didn't utter a single word today. This is very odd. Maybe someone should find out what's going on with her. Sure, why not? She's probably hungry, which we can just feed her today on day six. Might as well. All right, day six. Here we go. What's going on? Day six. Nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over a hot be beverage. We don't have the ladder, but talking alone seems to do the trick. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. Uh, it's impressive how well Mary Jane's handling Okay, so none of them are hungry. Yeah, none of them are hungry. All right, so you're not getting fed then. <laughs> it's really weird when you get the feeling that something is watching you. Our shelter is tiny, but this has been bugging us for a while now. We checked all the closets and no one's hiding there. Is there something alive down here besides us? Maybe a rodent of some kind? If so, we need to show it that we are a dominant species and this little in in this little paradise of ours. All right, let's go ahead and go. We have we have the weapons, so we might as well use that. Probably better off not shooting in a bunker because you'll probably go deaf. But gotta do what you gotta do. All right, day seven. Whatever it was, it's dead now. Quite dead. Maybe there's there's more hiding somewhere in in one of those nasty little holes. Dollaris will no longer will not last long without water. Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. Okay, so Mary Jane's quite hungry. Some water. Okay, so Mary Jane food and water everyone else just water right yeah um which one's mary okay so this is her yeah all right so there's some water for everyone and the only one who's getting food is mary jane dang it i should have done this from the start because saved a bunch day seven you would expect a nuclear explosion would be enough to quench any pretty petty arguments when the when the future is not looking too pretty and all you see is naked walls not much is necessary for an explosion it happened we started fighting like crazy oh my gosh that is not a good drawing to see uh <laughs> And they need to lock that person up, whoever drew that, because that's not good. All right, day eight. He's still not back. Oh, my gosh. We're done fighting, but for how long? All right, no longer thirsty. Okay, so Dolores is hungry. No longer hungry. Okay. Timmy and Dolores, however you say her name. So you're good. Yeah, it's just these two. Hungry, hungry. All right, good to go. Huh, guess what? Uh, we already got ourselves ve our very own fallout garden. Ooh, we got a bunch of mushrooms growing on one of the walls. They're big enough to be eaten. How about that? Should we prepare a mushroom feast today? Wait, 
Are those mushrooms safe? I don't know if those are safe. Uh, sure. I don't know. Are those safe? I mean, we don't need them. Like, we have a lot of food right now. Um, I don't know. What was it say? I don't want to. Yeah. I, I I guess. I don't know. Let's just do it. See what happens. Oh, he's back. Nice. All right. So I think his name is Ted. Oh yeah, he's got some. Uh, ooh, got some radi radiation in his, in his bones right now. <laughs> Day nine. Those were delicious. My only concerns that they were growing in or they were glowing in the dark. Oh, okay, dude. And now we are too two for that matter and now oh they're also glowing ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface during our expedition we stumbled across a half ruined wall with some half burnt painting on it we quickly realized we found the ruins of our local museum normally we would never enter an establishment like that without a ticket but desperate times call for desperate measures we jumped over the transit or tra oh turn still without looking back we were hoping for some sweets or snacks but all the museum canteen had to offer uh, was tomato soup those poor poor tourists the gift shop was in a sorry state while it's still standing the whole place was flooded with souvenirs and junk or both sometimes it's hard to tell the difference the only useful thing we found was a padlock that was securing the safe behind the counter the safe itself was empty of course okay that's kind of useless no longer hungry okay so ted got sick yeah it's always better when things are calm luckily nothing happened to mary jane today all right so i don't think we can heal him with that can we the med kit maybe we can i don't know all right so he definitely needs food and water um right yeah he's sick okay now you on the other hand you don't need nothing give that back you same thing you same thing give it all back all right so we're good uh the contamination of our town is still strong scavenging in these conditions could result in radiation sickness all right ted is in no condition to go outside Doss is all right so we're gonna send somebody out because why not Playing a game or two might be a good way to relieve the mood and take our minds off the problems of today and tomorrow. And hey, playing games is good for you, so why not give it a try every now and then? The only thing is, we don't have a radio, so how are we going to know if the military is here to rescue us? Day 10. Nice. Two achievements, too. I will survive. All thumbs. All right, so let's see. Day 10. We thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. The silence is too annoying, and we quickly stopped. Ted is hungry. Ted is still tired. A few days of rest is what he needs. Ted has recovered from his sickness. Oh, nice. Water is all Dollarys wants. Getting something to drink. Okay, so yeah, everyone's thirsty. All right. Uh, we don't have that much water, though. So I don't know what we're going to do about that. We have a lot of food. We just need water. That's the problem. All right. It looks like the area is still radiated. Ra oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I forgot. All right. Yeah, yeah. We got to send somebody out because we have to. We need water. Um, as we were considering alternatives to the canned soup diet, a sudden knock at the door broke our line of thought. It turned out that we were visited by a band of survivors who were in pretty bad shape. All they wanted was to get something to drink, a bite to eat, or at least clean bandages and medicine to attend their wound. All right, well, buddy, yeah, all you're getting is soup. That is all you're getting. That You're not getting anything more than that. Didn't we have a lock, though? How did they get in? All right, so, I mean, I see the lock right here. Padlock. I don't know. All right, so day 11. Our visitors were in tears when we gave them what they asked for. We survived the nuclear apocalypse, only to, to be nearly strangled by thankful re refugees. Hugs can kill you, you know. Luckily for us, they decided to continue their journey to get somewhere safe before the sunset. As they were about to leave, one of them presented us with a portable radio. Nice! They would not take no for an answer and soon left, waving goodbye until they disappeared amongst the rubble. Ted is hungry. Okay. Ted is still tired. A few days of rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No longer thirsty. No longer... Okay, good. All right. So, you're hungry. We're going to give you soup. You're the only one that's getting soup because everyone else should be good to go. Yes. Some of us are keener to go outside than others. Either way, it's time to choose the most able and responsible person for the, to the quest to gather more supplies. Who do we take outside? Okay, so we're going to send out you because I remember Mary Jane said, oh, yeah, we could have gave him a mask. Okay. All right, we're going to send her out with a mask because then she wouldn't get sick. We don't have any more med kits, so we kind of have to. She might not make it back alive, but got to do what you got to do. <laughs> she might be dead, but hey, hopefully she won't be. And that's all we can really hope for. Day 12. Mary Jane went outside. Let, let's hope she hurries back soon. Ted is still tired a few days. Yeah, yeah. Hungry anymore. Okay, good. Um, Good, good, good. All right, so everything's good there, right? Every, no one needs anything. Yeah, good. Because, yeah, we, we are very low on water. We had a thought... We had thought phones, ca phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. However, a phone booth on our street survived the bombing somehow. It seems it's ringing right now. We should send someone to answer it. Okay, um, Timmy, good luck. So now there's only going to be two of us in here. Oh, boy. Well, I mean, hey, that's all the water we really have, so this is good. <laughs> Man, we're surviving pretty long, though. Day 13. 
I don't know how long you can survive in this game. Probably 100, but... We, when we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. If there's one thing we need, it's water for Dollarese. Ted has rested. All Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. Some water for Timmy. Okay, so everyone needs water. Ooh, um... Only one person can get water, though. So, uh, Ted, there's your water. He asked for only a few drops, so there you go. <laughs> if there's anyone who can rescue us from this heckish situation, it's our government. You can badmouth them all you want, but that probably means you're either a naysayer or a commie. We're good citizens. We've been paying our taxes regularly, so we're sure Uncle Sam is coming to get us. Well, except that one time when we... Never mind. The government people are coming, and we should keep our, eye, our ears and eyes open for any sign of them. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on the radio. Sure. Yeah, we need a rescue because... Oh, what's that noise? Oh, the radio's making a noise. Ooh. All right, we need the, the, we need Mary Jane to come back. Good news. The government has made a radio broadcast about extracting survivors from our area. The announcer asked everyone listening to wait a while longer and expect further communication in a few days. We'll be out of here soon. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. To me, this is in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. I don't ha I don't have water, so, like, I don't know what to do. Well, I guess they're dead. We know very little about what's going on outside. It'd be a good idea to find out more. Maybe discover if anyone else has made safety. Radio could... Okay, yeah, we got the radio. Good. Well, it's only gonna be Ted and Mary Jane, if she ever comes back. She might come back today and save the day. Nope, they're dead. <laughs> she didn't come back. We were able to get a weak signal and tap in into government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news. The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Dollars would not survive without water any longer. Okay, not Ian. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so everyone's hungry. Okay, there's food. So why don't we go to the surface then? A traveling salesman paid us a visit today. He introduced himself as Willie. Apparently, business can do well even after the end of the world. All right, so offers one in exchange for that. No, uh, we don't have any of that. Okay, four water for one gun. We have to give that up. We have to. And she took the mask, so... Oh, we don't really need food anyways. We really just need water. Like, badly. Oh, they, watch they die. Oh, my gosh. As soon as... Okay, dude. She's a pile of bones. They're both dead. Are you kidding me? I just got you water. And you're gone. Okay. We made a deal with the salesman and helped him pack. He strolled away into the wasteland like he knew exactly where he was going next. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter. Okay, before our expedition, our expedition could go anywhere, we ran into a group of freaky people dressed as like wizards. They were eager to trade some of their supplies for a few items. It sounded like a fair, fair deal, deal, so we invited them in. They had some food with them that we actually bought with real pre-apocalypse pre money. They thought the coins gave them, we gave them were magical. We didn't argue. If we only had a few drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. Yeah, wait, where's Timmy, though? What do we do with him? Oh, there he is. Ted is no longer hungry. Yeah, yeah, uh, Lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opened the shelter door and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. All right. So, that's unfortunate. Tired. Thirsty. Okay, so there's water for you. And you have starvation. So, there's food, but you're not thirsty. All right, well, um, we could do another expedition. I feel like we kind of have to. Uh, we're, we've, we're closed off in a tiny shelter and our supplies are very limited. If we want to survive, it's time for desperate measures. We know there's a group of elderly people hiding in the ruins of the local retirement home. They must have some supplies and, in our opinion, we need them more. The well-being of your family is the most important thing in this world, right? No, because we have water. We have enough water and food for these two, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember exactly. We might be... No, no, we just got two cans of food. So, yeah. I think these two will be fine, but I don't know. Day 17. Robbing innocent people? Absolutely not. We are not savages. We cannot stoop that low. It's important to keep our values, even in these troubled times. Especially in these troubled times. Let's see, let's set a shiny example and leave these poor people alone. Mary Jane seems sleepy all the time. She has no energy for anything. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane has been asking about it all day. She's quite hungry. Okay, so... Um, tired, thirsty, hungry. Goodness gracious. She's everything right now. What about you? Okay, so give that back. Not for you, buddy. All right, we need to make a choice for today's expedition. Which one of us is best fit? So we have to send him, obviously. Um, could send him with the lock. I think we're going to do... Let's do the gas mask, mask so he doesn't get sick and send him out. So now all we're going to have is Mary Jane. So I'm assuming we can, like, skip these days, right? Day 18. All right, so let's see. Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. Equipment that. Uh, she becomes cranky. She should be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, she should be better in a few days. Got it. 
All right, so she's only tired now. Let's continue. After all these days we spent down here, we're not exactly clean. We smell bad, real bad. It won't bother us until we noticed it. And now we're about to get sick. So why not take a, a shower? We don't have soap, but there's other alternatives to consider. Yeah, we don't have any of that, unfortunately. All right, so let's go ahead and go past that. No shower for you, Mary Jane. Sorry about that. All right, day 19. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at her now. She looks sick. What happened to her? The world has ended. Who cares about showering? We can we can get used to it. Adapting shouldn't be hard. It will be like a camping trip. It will... Oh, no. That smell is just terrible. Don't puke. Don't. Suspicious looking stain cover parts of the page. Ew. When Mary Jane is tired. She becomes cranky. Yeah, she should be better in a few days. Mary Jane caught something nasty. Oh, no. Uh, we don't have a med kit, so... Yeah, what's this? Day 19. Await further instructions from friendly wastelanders. Await further instructions from the military. Okay, um, so that's it. During the night, we heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we peeked out in the morning, we saw a leather suitcase that had no address or name on it, but pretty sure it's meant for us. Should we open it? Sure. What do we have to lose? I mean, Mary Jane isn't going to last much longer. Achievement, a gift. Oh, someone's knocking. All right, what do we got here? Let's see. Day 20. There's no, there's no such thing as too much water nowadays. We inspected it thoroughly after taking it out of the suitcase, but it looks absolutely harmless and purified. We hope we get to meet this generous stranger one day and thank him or her personally for keeping our family well hydrated. Aren't there any, any stuff? Oh, we could give Mary Jane. Oh yeah. Okay. Mary Jane's still tired. Let's give her some time to recover. Yeah. I, I don't think she's going to make it now. She's hungry. All right. So man. Yeah. She is not in a good spot. So we met, today we met a bunch of people dressed in what looked like Halloween doctor outfits. They claimed to be a field hospital, moving from place to place, attempting to help those hurt by the hazard. Ooh, okay. Um, some of their supplies got eaten by something that looked like a Sasquatch. They're asking us if we have any spare... Yeah, I'm going to give them that and hope that they heal her, maybe? If we're lucky? Day 21. Oh, boy, dude. They got to heal her, right? Come on. No, nothing. All right, cool. We asked them for their doctor licenses, but all they... All of them claim they left them in another pair of trousers. We didn't dare ask if it was just one pair. We gave them a water bottle and wished them a good journey and better luck with the trousers. If we don't care Mary Jane soon, who knows what will happen? Yeah, I mean, I was hoping that they would have cured her because they're doctors. During our latest expedition, we ran into a smelly man in torn up clothes. We recognized him as an old bum named Jim who used to roam the streets of our town before the bomb fell. Now he roams the wasteland and it looks like he's followed us home. Now he's banging on our door asking if we, if we want to buy a rock. Uh, well, do we? I mean, we don't have anything to lose at this point, so sure. I don't know why we want to buy a rock, but maybe it's not a rock. Maybe it's a med kit somehow. <laughs> oh, he's back. Oh, my gosh. And he has an axe. All right. Oh, look, the mask is torn. Old man Jim was always lovely and friendly to everyone. So, of course, we opened the door and fulfilled his request. He winked at us and told us the first rock is for free, which we were happy to hear. A nice rock is a good thing to have, but we don't think we'll be able to trade any of our supplies for it, even if it brings luck like he claimed. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. We found our way to a, ne a nearby hospital, which, despite having structural damage, is still standing. Oh, come on, medkit? No. The site was pretty, though. Uh, what used to be inside the hospital is now all over the place. Whatever survived the blast, wave, anyway. Uh, the canteen had a respectable supply of tomato soup. It looks like this was the only thing they fed their patients. Now we're 100% sure it's healthy. Dang it, do we need meds? Uh, there were plenty of bottles of liquid in one of the wards. Pro peroxide or not, water is water, and beggars can't be choosers. Oh my god, we got a med kit! It was hard to find a fully equipped- Yes! Okay, one of the dead patients had an axe sticking out of his back. Ooh. According to his chart, he was feeling perfectly fine before the atomic blast. We decided he probably no longer needs that axe. Dang it, our gas mask was damaged during the expedition. Okay, this last expedition got us thinking. Maybe we could just drive away from this nightmare somehow. Of course, most of the, auto uh, most of the automobiles available are completely burnt out, but if we find a solid base and scavenge enough parts, maybe, or perhaps, we could build a vehicle of our own. We'd better keep an eye out for those on future expeditions. Aren't there any stuff we can give Mary Jane? Yes, okay, so we can actually heal her. Oh my gosh. Doesn't want that. This guy's probably hungry, right? Yeah, hungry. Uh, not thirsty though. Okay, give that back, Mary Jane. We're not certain about the situation on the surface. A trip could be risky, but we could really use some supplies. Yes, let's start scavenging. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and send out Mary Jane after she heals. Oh crap, I didn't read that. Dang it. I don't, I, I, it I'm pretty sure I didn't read whatever it said above that. <laughs> Unfortunate. Okay, so she's healed now. Good. 
The young man was assisted by a group of other survivors, all armed but really friendly. We found the girl, threw her a weapon, and fought off the bandits guarding the exit. Siblings were happy to be reunited, but also very confused. Turns out the bandit leader is actually their father. Crazy small world we live in. Anyway, they were really thankful and promised to contact us again soon. Ted is hungry. Okay, good. Mary Jane's all well now. Okay, so let's give her something to drink. Yeah. What about you? Thirsty and hungry. There you go. This is a good day to go outside, stretch a bit, get some fresh air. Okay, so we're going to send her out and we're going to give you uh, an X. Because <laughs> why not? I don't know what she's going to do with that. Probably better off giving her like food or water to trade maybe, but she might get robbed if she has that. So just give her the X. All right, so let's see here. Day 24, Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Equipment X. Okay, so he's hungry. Um, there's that. Are you thirsty? No, just tired. A sleazy looking trader carrying an equally okay, we're giving it to him. Pay us a visit, yeah, one time deal. Just for one can of soup, we get the bag and all of its contents. We can't see what's inside. I mean, yeah, we, we have food to trade. Just trade it. Let's hope we get something. What? There's a cat in the bag? I got an achievement out of the bag. There's a cat in the bag. Why? Oh no. Day 25. As soon as the door closed behind the trader, the bag starts to violently shake, emitting screeching heckish sounds terrified we backed up against the walls when the beast finally escaped it turned out to just be an angry house cat the feline gave us a menacing look and promptly sat down in the corner to clean itself its collar says that is it is that its name ted is still mighty tired okay so ted yeah okay are you hungry though no only tired all right on our way back from the last expedition we noticed some drawings on a half ruined wall nearby it was a very crude map of our town and one place was marked with an x maybe it's someone's secret stash of soup shall we go check yeah, dude, we're sending everyone outside. So we're we just gonna have no one in here now but the cat? I think so. What's that noise? Oh, is he still too tired to go out? I don't know. This treasure hunt actually turned out to be fun despite taking place in a radioactive dump that is our town. More importantly though, it was successful and we managed to find a small package. All right, so we definitely got a weapon, nice. All right, so are you hungry? Just thirsty. Dude, we have way too much food and water right now. We felt that we should do something about our interior decoration. The Feng Shui is really off in our fallout shelter. While we were moving things around, we found a secret door. Oh, what's behind it? There's only one way to find out. All right, um, let's bring the rife. No, there shouldn't be anything bad back there. I mean, maybe there's like a mutated rat, but I doubt it. Oh, sad. Okay, we might have gotten something good here. Oh, we got a map and a table. Oh. All right, day 27. It was very fortunate we had that flashlight. If it wasn't for that, we would have missed a pile of old maps collecting dust in a corner. There were mostly boring national park maps and the like, but one of them turned out to be a map of our town. Ted is no longer thirsty. Okay, so we're good on that regard. Today, the music from the radio stopped abruptly. Instead, we got to listen to a transmission from the army. We were almost halfway to the door when they started talking about evacuation, but it turns out there's something we need to do first. All survivors were asked to leave a sign that we're alive somewhere in the area. The exact location was given in geographical coordinates, but we need a map. Oh, we got the map. We might be out of here. Oh, she's back too. She's probably gonna be sick and we don't have any meds for that, but yep, she's sick. Okay, I knew it. Oh my God, they're both sick. No. Day 28, a quick glance at the map gave us all the information we required. We left them a message in a bottle. Ted seems to develop an allergy to our furry guest. Oh no. Medication, nothing made us happier than Side of Mary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any friends? Okay, so including at least one cinema hall we went in hoping to discover something or at least find some film posters the cinema had a strict policy of not bringing your own drinks into the movie hall seems like somebody broke the rule a little bit we found a lot of bottles in the last row of the hall some were even full under one of the seats we found a deck of cards it must have been a really boring movie if someone felt they needed to bring a game to the screening it might sound paranoid but we think someone followed us let's just hope this doesn't happen again we window shopped nearby parking lots for a vehicle that wasn't completely burnt out. Unfortunately, we found nothing of value. Okay, so yeah, maybe if you, yeah, future expeditions will be better. Tired, uh, starving, better get her some food today or else. Okay, so she dies if we don't give her food, but we have, so she's only, yeah, okay, that's not too bad. So they're both hungry. Neither of them are thirsty. We're not certain about the situation on the surface. A trip could be risky, but we could really use the supplies. All right, yeah, let's do an expedition. He's sick. I mean, we got to do what we got to do, though. Uh, it's too quiet. We're desperately craving entertainment. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and send out Ted because she's going to be too tired. Even though he's sick, he might not make it, but I, I don't even think we gave him an item. Dang it. 
Well, oh wait, I, okay, maybe he's not leaving yet. Not bad, Ted. We knew he had some sense of rhythm. He always enjoyed dancing, however. We, we never suspected him of the ability to create pleasant sounds with his mouth. Ones that are actually worth listening to. That was entertaining. Ted keeps coughing. Oh, no. Aren't there any drugs? No. Mary Jane? Yeah, they're both sick. Can we spare some water? Mary Jane's been out. Okay, yeah, we got water, but I mean, I don't think she's going to make it very long unless we get some meds for her. Yeah. Feeling pretty optimistic. Okay, so we're sending you with... Um, maybe he can... I don't know. I think we should send him with water and hope that he can, like, trade it for a med kit. But I'm thinking... now. Nah, let's just send him out with the, the rifle. Hopefully that guy doesn't break in that we heard above. Even though... Well, I don't think Mary Jane's gonna survive. <laughs> I don't think either of them are gonna survive. Oh, boy. There's the cat up there all happy. How is he getting fed, you know? All right, Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. All right. So, what do you have? Sick, tired, fatigued. Okay. Um, don't need anything then. You would expect the post-apocalypse... Ooh, we can give someone water. To be a time of patience and quiet, since, you know, most of the people around here aren't around anymore. Yet, here we here we have someone at the door. When we opened it up, we encountered a strange-looking man in a blue jumpsuit who asked us to trade him a water chip. A water chip? What in the heck is that? That could be the guy who followed her, though, but... Let's trade it, see what happens. Maybe we'll get lucky and get some meds for it. Because if we don't, we're dead. Let's see. Day 31, the visitor wasn't very happy that we didn't have a water chip or that we didn't know the, what one was. He did help himself to the water we offered him. What? And explained that the chip is of utmost importance. Before we learn anything more, he left for the wasteland. What the heck, dude? I'm like, give that water back. What do you think you're doing, buddy? All right, so nothing. Mary Jane was injured on her last expedition. She didn't mention it to us. And we didn't notice. It wasn't a problem until just now. It seems her injury got infected. She's in bad shape. We must help her. Oh, boy. We're going to have to cut it off. Well, got to do what you got to do. I mean... Oh, there's someone knocking, I think. Oh, boy. Yeah, she cut off her arm. Mary Jane got the wrong idea when we brandished the axe. She tried to limp out of the bunker. Fortunately, she was too slow. And we were able to explain our intentions before she ran off. Heating the axe's blade allowed us to clean the wound. Oh, stop it from festering. Now it's up to her immune system to fight off the infection. We have to break our axe to do it, but she's looking better today, and we're hopeful it was worth it. All right, let's see. So she's hungry, probably thirsty too. Oh boy, yeah, she's everything right now. All right, take that. We're hoping to open. The, we're happy to open the door today. Oh no, the axe is broken, and see some friendly faces. The siblings are asking for our help yet again. They decided that a small tent is not fit to house their group anymore, and decided to start building a small camp. They could use anything and anybody they can get, mainly for constructing housing. All right, well, we uh, can't really help them. We're about to be dead. So I hear a rat. I think she died. Nope, she's still alive. All right, cool. We apologize for not being able to help at this time. Maybe we can find an axe soon and join the fun. But right now, we have no way of helping these fo these folks. Okay. So, she should be good besides... Yeah. We never thought... Oh, look. I need something. We'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't. But we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is, they've probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is, they are huge and will probably attack us when they get the chance. Well, that's unfortunate, but it's going to have to happen. Because we have none of those items. Now I know what to bring, though. Like, we have a good idea of, like, what we need. Day 34. We underestimated the value of a cat in this environment. We thought we had a cockroach infestation on our hands, but the cat took care of it while we were asleep. Oh, nice. Was it reminded of its hunting days before the bombs dropped? Was it mesmerized by the roach's glow? Or does it just have an undeniable thirst for fresh fresh cockroach blood? We'll never know why, but we're grateful that we, ha we don't have to deal with these insects ourselves any longer. Oh, dude, that worked out perfectly for us. The injury Mary Jane has may take a while to heal. Mary Jane seems sleepy all the time. She has no energy for anything. All right. Well, I mean, can't really do anything about that. Uh, the cat is still a fresh addition to our little family, so we need to keep an eye on it. And believe it or not, just today, we noticed something else on its collar. It seems to be a metal plate with an address on it, and it's not far. Should we take a quick trip? Yeah, sure. I don't know how we're going to do that, because I guess we're doing it ourselves. Mary Jane definitely is not doing that. There's no way. Day 35. Here we go. Okay, let's see. We grabbed our newly fluffy, fluffy friend for a little stroll through the waste, only to immediately run into a couple of gentlemen dressed in trench coats, fedoras, and shades. They gritted their teeth at the sight of the cat and said they'd be looking for it. Oh, they'd been looking for it. Apparently, it belongs to their dear old Nan, who loves it dearly. Before we could utter a word, they took the cat, thanked us, and left. The cat didn't seem to mind, so maybe it's for the best. Mary Jane is hurt, and we haven't had, or we haven't done anything to make it better. Yeah, okay. Can we spear some water? Okay, I got it. 
Uh, you're not hungry, though. All right, there you go. There's some water. Uh, we were about to go to sleep when we heard scratching coming from the door. At first, it sounded like an angry rat trying to eat the dang thing. We soon discovered it was something much worse. Something is on the other side of the door trying to pry it open. We need to act. All right, well, we have a lock, so we're good. Go ahead and lock that up. Got two achievements. Nice. Nice, nice. She is definitely not going to survive for much longer. We didn't think that a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. Seems that they gave this whole break-in a fair shot, but ultimately gave up and left. Too bad that padlock is in no shape to be used again. We need to think of other ways to fight off the bandits and other, and, and other soup-hungry barbarians. All right, so, yeah, she needs to get her injuries patched up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think she's going to make it much longer. When the group dressed in lab coats came over a while back asking for water, we had doubts about their identities, but no more. They came back today and gave us some injections. We don't know what it was, but oh no, we already feel so much better. And all the colors are so bright. Oh boy, what did they give us? So wait, is she good now? Is Mary Jane like healthy? Oh my, no, they... Uh, I think Mary Jane might be healthy now. Ted has safely returned from his voyage. Nice. Okay. A pile of car wrecks revealed that we stumbled across a big parking lot. Almost no car survived the blast wave, but we went between the wrecks and ex to explore anyways. Under the burnt remains of a picnic table, we found some bottled water. Okay. Nice. Bottled water. Food. Yes. Uh, interrupted someone's picnic. Okay. So we got cans of food from that. A suitcase. In one of the trunks, we found a leather suitcase. It's almost untouched. We're a bit disappointed. There was nothing inside. Okay. Come on. No, we got an axe. Dang it. Belong to a lumberjack. Perhaps both. A little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed. We need to be more careful next time. So, yeah, we got nothing that we really needed. Cool, man. Cool. You're probably, yeah, hungry. Not thirsty, though. Okay, what about you? Hungry. All right. Oh, boy. Um, Mary Jane. We're going to have to send them out, dude. We were afraid the army would... Oh, look. I can use this. Um, wouldn't get back to us. But they eventually did. The next transmission was full of evacuation promises, but it ended on a big if. The speaker requested that any survivor groups armed with firearms should dispose of them before they get rescued. What? I don't know what this is about, but it sounds like violating our rights. On the other hand, are there any laws? Dude, I'm not going to get rid of that. Why would I get rid of that? I don't think... Are you sure that's the military? I don't know, man. All right. Let's get rid of it. Day 38. Man, we're surviving for a long time. Goodness. All right. So, what do we got? We decided to follow military orders and get rid of our rifle. We did so with a heavy heart, but if that's the price of getting to safety, we pay it, we pay it gladly. That doesn't mean we'll never get another one, though. To our surprise, we found the cat back in our shelter this morning. We're not exactly sure why or how it came back. Is it our good care it appreciates? Our kind hearts? Optimism? Or just our stockpile of soup cans? Only time will tell. How to get back in, though? Ted's stomach is rumbling. Okay, so yeah, yeah, they're hungry. So hungry and thirsty. And then what about you? Just thirsty. Okay, there you go. We've been preparing. Yep. Okay, so oh, I can't even send them. Oh, man. I was hoping I could send them anyways. It's like either they die or, you know, they make it back. <laughs> I don't know. And we're, you know, we're, we don't have very many options right now. Okay, Ted's stomach is rumbling. Okay, so that's normal. Oh, wow. We didn't even do anything. Hungry. Okay, there you go. What about you? Fatigued. All right, so we can't do that. Curiosity almost killed the cat. Uh, the cat found a tiny wire sticking out from the ceiling and pulled it out. Plastron debris fell on our table, topped off with a big meowing furball. What is this thing anyway? Nobody remembers it being there before. The cat might get angry if we take it away, take away the wire. So maybe it's best we leave it, or should we examine that wire? Examine it. We have nothing to lose. Literally nothing to lose. Last man standing. Oh no, dude, the achievement spoiled it. Oh wait, no, we're still alive. Okay. We grabbed the cable and followed it to a rusty old truck parked in our neighbor's driveway. Upon opening the door, we con we were confronted with two men wearing huge headphones who looked extremely surprised to see us. Wait, what? They were wi they wiretapped our shelter when we were asleep, and they were listening to everything we said. Why? We gave them heck and marched back to our bunker. What? Why would they be? What? Why would they be doing that? It makes no sense. Because like, if they were to break in and put a wire in like that, then they could easily have killed us all right our last expedition brought news of a vehicle parked just down the street it sure looked unique but we never got close enough to get a good look we're almost certain it's not a bandit trap perhaps we should send someone over to check it out sure go ahead get on out there buddy oh that was two knocks right doom, doom, doom. no no that's way more than two all right well who's at the door a shocking discovery it was a rusty tank 
It was a little crispier on the edges, and it was also missing wheels and some other crucial parts, but the seats were fairly comfortable. Wouldn't it be amazing to just drive away and leave this radioactive heck behind us? Something should be done about Ted's sickness. Ted is still tired. A few days of rest is what he needs. Okay, so... All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirsty, yep, and hungry. Okay, there you go. What about you? Thirsty. Man, we have so much water. All right, I mean, we can't send anyone out. A group of people dressed in green pajamas knocking on our hatch is not something that we anticipated. Yet, this is exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insisted they are merry men and wish to take from the rich and give to the poor. We're pretty poor, so maybe we could make some new friends. Should we let them in? We definitely shouldn't because we have a lot of water and food, but we're going to do it anyways. They're going to steal all of our water and food, aren't they? <laughs> I have a feeling they are, but whatever. Okay, so what now? Oh, look, they took our stuff. Those merry men were not merry at all. They told us that we were rich and that we should share with the other 99% of the wasteland. They grabbed a few things and left. Couldn't do anything to stop them. Their green clothes were too dang hypnotizing. Great, dude. Just great. All right, so we can't do this. The siblings are back, just like they promised, and they're asking for our help. Okay, so yeah, we can help them this time. Even though, I mean, they better give us a med kit or something. Someone's knocking. Great. All right, what now? Check the journal. We got a few splinters, but the work is done. We even had some fun. It was almost like building that treehouse in our backyard all over again. The group and their leaders appreciated our help and said they would definitely let us know when the whole thing is finished so we can come and visit them. Something should be done about Ted's sickness. Okay, 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 okay. Um, great. Give you that. That's all. Okay, skip. The agents who are spying on us are now at the door and want to explain themselves. Yes, I definitely want to hear them out. Let's see what they have to say. Because they could have easily killed us, so it's like... I don't know why they're doing that, but might as well. Let's see. They briefly waved some sort of ID cards in front of our faces and told us they're a they're on a top secret government mission. The wiretap wasn't to spy on us, but rather on the cat. What? It's a, a suspected of being a Soviet agent. They're willing to let us into their super top secret government safe house, and we will help them with some of their top secret missions. They showed us they, they'd contact us again with more details. Huh? Okay, dude. All right. Sure. Uh, thirsty, done, done. Ooh, okay, so one exchange. I don't, no, I don't, I don't need water. Now we don't need water. We need the med kit right there, but it's not offering that. I think we need two med kits. I mean, at least one would be good. So we have one survivor, you know? All right, let's see. They can stay sick for a long time though. In the end, we decided her offers were not for us. Maybe another time, if she ever comes back. Something, okay, yeah. Um, can't really do anything about that though. So, on to the next day. We played a game of list the things you hate the most and our and our neighbor's names kept coming up for some reason. They reminded us that that little weasel had a safe in his living room. Oh, I was wondering what was inside. Okay, so we're sending you. Go, go out there, get what's in that safe. We probably should have sent Mary Jane now I think about it because I don't think she's sick, but we did it anyway. Someone's knocking. When we opened the safe, we heard a loud bang in the room filled with thick, nasty smoke that smelled of rotten eggs. The guy booby-trapped the safe. Sure, it slowed us down, but it didn't stop us from taking his most pri prized possession. Take that, Ned. Too bad we won't ever get the, the stench off of our clothes now. All right, so, yeah, all we got was a trashy um, mask. You know, the, the mask on the right over there. Um, open in the name of freedom, came a shout from outside our door. We're opening it. We're unsure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? We're doing it. We're doing it. I mean, we have nothing else to do. I, uh, we're not going to get a med kit. Maybe we could fight them. I don't know. Oh, we're still alive. Okay. We regretted opening the door the minute we saw who was standing on the other side. Dark faces, rifles, and determined looks of a band of teenagers. We're doomed, we thought. Then, out of the blue, one of them asked us if we're th with the Reds. We never, we've never supported the Red Sox, so we confidently said that we weren't. The tension dropped immediately, and those nice young people gave us two bottles of water. They told us to have no fear, since Wolverines are, are around. Wolverines? What? We're not sure what Wolverines have to do with all, with all of this, but we took their word for it. All right, so yeah, we got more water, which we do not need. <laughs> we don't need more water, dude. I have enough water. It's been a while, but there was another message from the military on the radio. They want us to send one person out to meet them. Sounds like some some kind of precaution or a trick. Yeah, it's definitely a trick, but we're going to send her out. That's definitely not the military. Something tells me she's not going to be here. Oh, she's there. Okay. Let's see. Day 48. We managed to make it to the meeting in time. We tried our best to answer the questions the soldier asked us. Let's hope we fulfilled their expectations and our rugged appearance didn't make a bad impression. 
Oh, wow. That's surprising that that actually worked, but it did. All right, so using a high-tech setup involving paper cups and yards of string, the agents ring in with our next top secret mission that will surely land us in the VIP bunker very soon. Then wants to go on one successful ex expedition to write down what we saw in the journal. Okay, except for... I don't think we can send this person out. Oh, yep, we are. <laughs> oh my god, almost day 50. Halfway to 100. I have a feeling she's not going to come back, but... Day 49, Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. We gracefully agreed to fulfill their request. They thanked us for doing our civic duty and promised to be back with more information soon. All right, so we have nothing here. We took some time examining our map and found it had some abnormal symbols scribbled in a few places. It appears as if someone had written or hidden something in the area and provided directions to it. Should we send someone out? Yes. I don't think he's gonna make it back. He's so sick. Yeah, look, he's coughing. Oh, that, that does not sound good. But he's back. All right, you got a med kit by any chance? No, we got food. Buy some trees hidden in the trees. Dang it, dude. I don't need food <laughs> or water. If the cat considers our shelter its home now, we might as well try to get along. We could try to carry it around and pet it on the head. All cats like a good pet, and the cat should hopefully be no exception. Otherwise, any attempt to touch the cat could lead to our untimely death. Should we try to play with him? Sure. Why not? I mean, I don't know how a cat would, you know, kill us, but <laughs> it worked. Did the cat have anything, dude? We actually rubbed its head before it, it ran away in panic. It was nice and soft. They say petting a fluffy animal is good for you. And sure enough, we feel slightly better. Well, that wasn't so bad. The cat didn't look happy when we stopped its afternoon nap to pat it on the head. But that's all. Maybe once we muster enough courage again, we can try again. Okay, I don't know what the purpose of that is, but sure. Oh, no. We're either going crazy or this entire shelter is crawling with little insects. Or worse, it's worse. They're spiders. And not some miniature ones, but huge, furry, and very creepy beasts. We've got to do something about them. Yeah, I don't have anything, so I think we're dead to spiders. Someone's at the door, though. Hopefully someone with something useful. Oh, she's back. All right, so while we were asleep, the cat made short work of those pesky spiders. Oh, my God, dude, the cat is amazing. It chased them around until all of them ran away through cracks in the shelter walls. Let's hope they stay gone for good. That recon mission was risky business. We had to visit neighbors that were dicey, even in the best of times. The area was full of mutated cats and dogs fighting each other in gangs, all of them armed to the teeth. We barely made it out of there alive, but the agents seemed to appreciate our efforts. Let's hope these missions are actually worth it. All uh, right, yeah, we're, they're, they're, they're definitely not, you know, worth it. Uh, upgrade and we're expecting the government shelter to have an excellent bathroom, maybe even a hot tub. Yeah, okay. Um, so he's hungry. What are you? Hurt, fatigued. Okay, so good news from our friends. Oh, we can trade them this. The siblings visit us today to inform that their camp is now done. They do have a few concerns, though. Most of the children. Their idea of fun is running around the radioactive wasteland and possibly getting eaten by mutated cockroaches in the process. Do we have any spare toys we can give them to keep the kids entertained? Yes. Why not? Might as well. I mean, we're not using them. But we help them build the town and we're not even living in the town with them. Like, what? How does that work? Okay, what's next? Day 53. We're happy to share our set of cards with them. Sure, the deck isn't complete, so the kids will have to make up some new games, but at least it'll keep them busy. Our friends agreed and promised to keep us updated on the situation in the camp. Time to ration supplies. Okay, so thirsty. We have plenty of water, and that's it. Okay, so you're not going out. We're not alone. There's a huge hairy bunny beast that seems to be hiding in one of the pipes. It's been poking its head out, eyeing our measly food stash. We can't let it get to it, though. We can't let it be here when we sleep. All right, well, you have to use the axe on it. Mutated bunny going down, buddy. All right, what do we got now? So that thing's dead. Do we eat it by any chance? Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still top of the food chain. Good for us. Okay, so, yeah, we can't do anything about that. I think she's hungry and thirsty, yeah. What about you? Okay. Done, done, done. We stumbled upon a weird signal when changing radio frequencies. We're pretty sure that behind layers of terrible static and screams, we could hear a voice. A voice speaking in a foreign language. Oh dear, what if it's the Soviets? We should probably listen to it, but what about the children? Okay, we have to listen to it. We have to. Oh no. I need any help I can get right now. <laughs> so, uh, let's see what they said. We were relieved at first when we figured out it wasn't Soviets we heard. Turned out it was Canadians, which isn't that much better. Either way, they, they're foreigners, and we couldn't understand what they were saying. Not a word. How disappointing. All right, so that's fine. Um, anything here? No. No. Okay. So nothing we could do. There's something at the end, though. We have neither of these. Yeah, it's just another trade, which we can't do. 
on to the next day i don't know how we're still alive but we are <laughs> somehow okay what do we got now it was hard to turn her down because of that dang cheerfulness but we did anyways the woman seemed a bit disappointed and tried to offer us schematics for some weird gun we turned that down too it's not like we have any tools around here anyways something should be done about okay yeah we can't do anything about that um thirsty hungry what about you nothing okay on to the next day oh so i can give them water. that's a lot of water what is this clearly we're trustworthy after our last successful mission as the agents came back with another request oh my gosh we're to generously provide either a couple soup cans or some water bottles for an agent in the field. They'll take care of the delivery and return will be given. Oh my gosh. Uh, encouraging pat on the back and promise of a better future in a safe government shelter. Why are we doing this? Whatever. Like, it's so obvious. <laughs> it's so obvious that we're getting scammed, but whatever. Okay, what now? Four water bottles. We graciously agreed to fulfill their request. They thanked us for doing our civic duty and promised to be back. Okay, dude. Oh, uh, well, now we only have one and a half bottle, so that's not good. So there we go. Our situation is getting worse every day. We can see the hunger and desperation in, in each other's eyes. We know a teacher from a local school rescued a bunch of kids when the, the bomb fell. We also know what kind of supplies are in the school shelter. As part of the community, we help stock it for an emergency. Okay, so reclaim it. Let's do it. Why not? Uh-oh, the dark side. Uh-oh, someone's dead. Wait, no. Oh, the, no, the cat's still, everyone's still alive. Oh. We went, got what we needed, and came back. We're sure that group will do just fine. Most probably. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, did we do that to them? Oh, my gosh. All right, so... Uh, I only got a, like, a chessboard or checkers. That's so bad. Uh, some door-to-door -door salesman found his way to our shelter. We remember him from before the apocalypse. He came over with a bunch of leaflets and tried to convince us to join something called Astro Citizen, but we refused. Now he just wants supplies and says he will reveal some some state secrets to us in return. All right, fine. Here, take some food. Whatever. <laughs> just take the food at this point, man. We don't even need it, all right? We need meds so we can send... Oh, she's gone. I think she died. <laughs> uh, we were generous, so we shared our supplies with him. He tried to make us believe that America has a working space station in orbit, or rather had, since according to that guy, it exploded when the bombs dropped. How convenient. A working space station? What a joker. He was probably so hungry and dehydrated, his, his brain started playing tricks on him. Okay, so, yep, there she goes. At us, or at least the fact that we decided not to do anything about them. When we got up, we found a note from her claiming she deserves better and that she had left for Canada because of a better public health care system. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well, I mean, hey, more water for us, right? <laughs> That's done there. Someone's at the door. We cannot hear what they're saying, but they've been banging on it like crazy. Maybe it's good news. Maybe it's bad news. Should we open the door? For sure. Open it up. Uh-oh. Rescue time. Oh, I got rescued? Oh my god, we made it! I actually survived! What's going on? Oh, right here. We made it! We got rescued by our brave military! We honestly shed tears of door, uh, door of joy when we saw those handsome uniforms covered with radioactive goo. Dude, she just left too. That's so bad. Let's hope this is the end of our desperate survival and we can finally have a fresh start. Ted keeps coughing. Doesn't matter. We spent 60 days in our shelter. It goes over what happened on each day. Man, we did it. We actually did it. Not bad, dude. You survived. That's right, baby. That's right. Okay, so yeah, we did pretty good. End adventure. Nice. So for our first, first playthrough, not bad. I mean, we know we need some more stuff for next time, but... Oh, look, the tank is outside. What the heck? Can we interact with it? Oh, whoa, look at this. Oh, these are the achievements that we got, I think, yeah. Well, guys, that was uh, the game. It was a lot of fun. I had a good time with this. Look at this guy always coming out every time we open the door. But yeah, I had a lot of time with this, or a lot of good fun with it. Um, it, it was it was a good time, for sure, because uh, it was definitely unique. I like it. It was like a, it was like a book, but like a playable book, you know? <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Look, a plane. Wait, can I click on that plane? Is there a secret? No, nothing. All right, well, guys, I'm in this video here. If you guys do want to see more of this game, let me know. Show this video a ton of support. We'll definitely return, and we'll try out the apocalypse mode, scavenge mode, challenge mode, all that kind of stuff, and go from there. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.